Hi, welcome to the chordsandguitar.com website. This is an introductory video to show you what's available on the site, uh, how you can use it, what resources are there, and to help you to help you play guitar. When you first come on the site, you're going to land on this uh, the main page, and straight away you're going to get the guitar chords. So it starts by default with the C major, and you're going to see all the C major chords all the way up the neck. You can, of course, select uh, another note on the chromatic scale. So we have uh, from C flat to B sharp, and everything in between, all the flats or uh, sharps in between. There are 44 chord variations distributed over these four lines. It starts at uh, major and uh, ends at uh, diminished sevenths. In total, there's somewhere around three to 4,000 chords uh, on the side. So how do you use uh, use this information well uh, one, one way I use this a lot is to copy paste chords onto a lyric sheet so I've got a song here I'm gonna bring up lyrics um, song and lyrics by Dylan called you ain't going nowhere and it goes something like this clouds so swift rain falling in and gonna see a movie called Gunga Din Pack up your money, put up your tent in the wind. You ain't going nowhere. Ooh, we ran me high. Tomorrow's the day my bride's gonna come. Oh, we gonna fly down in the easy chair. And so on. It's a great little song. And, uh, you know, it only has three chords. So um, you can play that uh, quite easily. Even a beginner can have a lot of fun playing this. So I'd like to put these chords into the, into the sheet. So I need a D. So I'll go back to the site and select D. And it's going to come up with D major because I was already in the major uh, selection. So here's my D. I'm going to right-click, copy image, go back to the Word document, and uh, paste it in with Control V, or you could use the paste icon here. It doesn't matter. I'm going to select it. I'm going to change its properties, make it a background image, resize it, and then put it at an appropriate place on the sheet. All right. Now I need an E minor. I'm going back to the main page, selecting E. Now I need minor, so the small m will give me the minor. And uh, E minors are going to come up. And here we go. Now copy the image, go back to the document, paste it, change property, and resize, and position. And I just need a G, and here we go, G, I'm going to go back to select a major, and uh, here we go with G major, and a copy image. and resize. So there we have it. We have all the chords that we need to play this song. So now I can't forget them and they're in my face so uh, I just gotta play it. So what else is available on the site? Well there's a lot of resources. Uh, there's a number of chord scales. We have three note, four note chord, chord scales. So if we go to the three note chord scales, you'll have all the uh, major uh, chords, uh, chord scales, including their relative minor. So, but, so let's say you have a song that you think is in uh, F major. So these are all the chords that are in the F major scale. So you'll have an F, of course, and probably an A minor, a C, a D, you'll, not probably, you have an A minor, a C, a D minor. All, all these chords here are in the major F major scale. So if you're listening to that to a song in F major, well, chances are a lot of these chords are going to be in the song. So it's easy, it may be a little bit easier for you to figure out what chord is being played. Uh, also, we uh, also have a whole bunch of songs with chords already put on the lyric sheets and uh, I'm just gonna go straight to this tab here right and um, here's the list and it's about 200 of them and they're divided they're they're presented by title of course so if you click on the title 
you will um, you'll be, uh, have a download page come up for the uh, lyrics and chords. If you click here on the composer, you'll you'll hear a short preview. And here, if you're on the notes, you'll get you can you can download that short preview. The key of the song is given, so you know you might be interested in knowing what key it's in, and the level of difficulty also. You can sort by level of difficulty. So if you want to start with uh, easier ones, well, it's easy for you to do. Um, this, this other column is what if, if there is a MIDI version of this song, it'll, you can click on it and download it. MIDI is a uh, computer uh, is computer generated music, and so it's a way that the computer understands music that, for example, is coming from a keyboard and can simulate uh, all kinds of other instruments. And you know, there's all kinds of software to help you help you do that. Uh, some will help you. will put the music notes right on a staff so you can record your music and have a sort of a permanent record. So it's pretty exciting and uh, and that's uh, it's very interesting for musicians. Uh, there's uh, the year that the song was released. If you click on that, you'll have more information on the song. So that's about it for now. Um, I don't want this video to be too long. I'll, I'll make a second one and um, I'll probably call it number two. So uh, stay tuned and um, play some music and enjoy and uh, bye for now. Right, poor old Wagner can generate a few laughs. Wagner's music has beautiful moments, but some bad quarters of an hour. Richard Wagner's music is better then it sounds. <laughs> a critic is like a eunuch. He knows exactly how it ought to be done.